Welcome to this Major League Lacrosse news update. I'm Jason Chandler. MLL awards season continues today with the announcement of the 2011 Cascade Rookie of the Year winner. The 2011 rookie class was considered one of the strongest in league history with a number of rookies making an impact on the field. The 2011 Cascade Rookie of the Year award goes to Nationals attackman Jeremy Boltis. Boltis was the 46th of 48 players drafted in January's MLL Collegiate Draft out of Army. The fact that the draft was held early this year allowed him to get on the field for Hamilton's first game of the year. He played in all 12 games this season and led all MLL rookies with 19 goals and 18 assists for 37 points, which ranked 11th in Major League Lacrosse in 2011. The high point of his season came on June 24th at Rochester when he netted seven goals in an 18-15 win over the Rattlers. Boltis has five multi-goal games this season and scored a goal in seven of the Nationals' final eight games. Boltis was the runaway winner of the Rookie of the Year award, getting 44 points from the league's coaches and general managers. Finishing second was his teammate David Earl and also Rochester's Joel White, each finishing with 11 points. Jeremy now joins us via our Sports Authority video chat. Jeremy, thanks for joining us. Your thoughts on winning the Cascade Rookie of the Year award? Uh, you know, I was just uh, I was very excited and, uh, you know, it was a very satisfying feeling knowing, you know, that, uh, you know, just keep keep working hard and ultimately you can accomplish anything you set out to be. And obviously, you know, uh, I wanted to make the playoffs with the Nationals and we accomplished that this past weekend. But, um, you know, on a personal level, uh, I just, you know, tried to be the best rookie out there and, and uh, yeah, I got to a good start and just kind of played consistently throughout the year and uh, I think it paid off. So, you know. I was very excited and, um, you know, sharing it with a couple of my family members and coaches. They're, they're all very excited for me as well. So uh, it was definitely a good day. Take us through what it was like to be a rookie here in your first year in Major League Lacrosse. Uh, you know, it was just uh, it was definitely a, a tough transition um, coming from the college game to, to Hamilton. Uh, I remember, you know, our season ended, uh, I think it was Friday night against Hopkins. And then that following Sunday, I got a call from our GM, Jody Gage, and he was just like, hey, how about, uh, we want you to continue your lacrosse career out here. And, you know, I couldn't say no to that offer. I mean, uh, it was tough, you know, not watching the NCAA playoffs, but it was definitely made it easier that I could continue playing in the MLL. And uh, so I flew out there, and it was, uh, it was a fun experience. It was just, you know, again, game one was really tough to adjust to, to the game speed, to the, uh, the rules of the game, and just – you know, it was tough developing a role because I went from like a number one player at Army for a few years back to uh, back to another role player. So I had to, to find a role quickly. And uh, I think I did that with the team and just the help of, like I said, uh, with the, some of the veterans on our team, some of the older guys. And also uh, Gary Gator, offensive coordinator, have, have been huge for my success. And, and uh, you know, I was really happy with the way things turned out so far. Hopefully we can keep it going championship weekend. The Nationals have been one of the hottest teams in the MLL heading into championship weekend. Your thoughts on your team as you head towards the playoffs? You know, both individually and amongst the team, I think we're very confident. We're a very confident bunch, you know. Uh, I think we have, you know, the confidence and uh, we have the swagger that we can beat anyone. And, you know, the goal was, hey, get the championship weekend and anything can happen. But uh, I really don't think that many people saw us, you know, being as successful as we were this year. And, I think it very help, it helps a lot that we develop some uh, pretty good momentum going into it. I mean, we, we beat Boston, we beat, beat Chesapeake, and, um, you know, we, we were 0 for 2 against Denver this year. But, uh, you know, I think uh, just developing each other, developing a flow and, and working amongst each other really helped us out throughout the year. And I think we can build off that, what we did in the season, take it into championship weekend. And like I said, it's, it's, it's two games in two days, and I think uh, – you know, with the young, younger core uh, of guys that we have, I think, uh, you know, we kind of have an advantage with the whole, uh, you know, conditioning factor. And hopefully we can, you know, win on Saturday and keep it going and anything can happen in the championship game. So we're very excited and very happy to be there. Okay, Jeremy, thanks very much for joining us. And once again, congratulations on being the 2011 Cascade Rookie of the Year. Thanks a lot, Jason. Appreciate it. Be sure to check back into MajorLeagueLacrosse.com tomorrow when the MLL announces the 2011 Brian Coach of the Year.